Well, as you can already tell, it's job center time and Joy Dorin Bira is in our business studio. A very good evening to you, Joy. What do you have for us tonight? That's right. Good evening, Wilson. And tonight we are concentrating on uh, corporate companies that are partnering with universities to tailor courses suitable for the Kenyan market today that is today and going forward which are some of those most marketable courses that kenyans need to look into and that is what we're here to discuss on job center tonight and well experts say kenyan institutions of higher learning need to tailor their courses to suit the immediate job market needs and the reason is many graduates come from universities unprepared to hit the job market because there is disconnect between the education curriculum and the workforce so just how can employers and universities tailor courses that are suitable to the current job market to share knowledge on this is dr george njenga who is the current and founding dean of strathmore business school and who is also the deputy vice chancellor research and quality assurance at Strathmore University. We also have Parmenas Wainaina, who is an HR consultant at Corporate Stuffing Services, a job recruitment company in Kenya. Thank you both for joining us. Good it's evening, viewers. Yes. To have Thank you, you Dori. Thank Doctor, you for the invite. I think I'll start with you. Yes. Um, Strathmore is one of the universities that has partnered with different co uh, corporate companies to tailor courses that are suitable for their market demand. How feasible is this? It's extremely feasible. And growing companies, growing industries are looking more and more towards universities to develop people mm -hmm. who are well trained and groomed to suit the kind of skills they want for their companies. I'd say we have over 45, between 45 and 50 serious industry university linkages. One of them, for instance, is the Safaricom uh, partnership with Strathmore, in which we have developed a te telecommunications technology skill-based master's program. And some of the students who graduate from this program immediately go and work for Safaricom. Mm -hmm. But they also provide services for software engineering, software technology development, which although they may not be employed by Safaricom, but can be useful for Safaricom and for other competitors in the market. We have other types of relationships that are very, very specific and determinate to a very specific area. For instance, we have a partnership with the Kenya Medical Research Institute to do research in therapeutic sciences mm -hmm. where we analyze drug quality control. Uh, we also do the same with regard to developing logistic capability for developing software software to help logistic companies or logistics within companies for the distribution of pharmacological drugs in so the market. We, so we're looking at specifics of different uh, courses that can be looked Absolutely. into Absolutely. And they range in a very wide area from finance to basic ability to communicate mm -hmm. to high technology like pharmaceutical drug transmission process or logistics uh, to very specific financial engineering services for specific companies. There is an incredible panorama of jobs that right. we cooperate with industry. I'll come to you, Parmenas. Um, you do recruit, uh, you know, uh, different Kenyans for different jobs across the country. Which are the most marketable professions that we're looking at in the Kenyan market today? I would say from a recruitment perspective, you certainly find that uh, courses which are uh, in the area of humanities, mm -hmm. they are doing much more better than those ones which are specialist. For example, you find accountants, uh, those in the human resource, ICT, uh, business administration, doing much more better than those ones who are specialist. Let's say someone in engineering, someone in a very sp uh, specialized course. Mm -hmm. The reason being, and that is what we were discussing before we came on air, an accountant, accounting skills are required across all sectors. Whether you're talking uh, in a media company, in a university, in a hospital setup, an accountant will be useful. So at the end of the day, you find those are generally the courses which mm. are moving, and uh, that's where we get most of the recruitment requests. And again, you find whether it's an SME or a big corporation, they'll still need, let's say, someone in customer service. 
Right. So let's just take a look at some of uh, these job seekers. They've been, you know, on the streets for not just months. They've been on the streets for, I think, uh, years. They've been searching for jobs. And they are searching for jobs in fields that you have already mentioned. Uh, just take a look at some of them. My name is Dorothy Caberi. I'm 32 years old. I have done certificate in secretarial and business administration, a diploma in community development. I have also added skills on cleaning services. My name is John Stonemunen Ngugi. I studied forensics, information technology, and cybercrime at uh, university. I'm looking for a job in the IT sector. My name is Osodo Bonke. I'm 23 years old. I've done diploma in business administration and looking for a job in that field. Uh, studying. And those are some of the job seekers that we have looked at. Some of them probably have been jobless for the last five years and they are seeking jobs in markets or can I say in uh, areas which we have defined as most marketable. Yeah. So where exactly are the gaps that maybe they need to specialize into uh, so that it can be easier for them to get jobs? So if I'm um, to think of what Parmela has suggested, those jobs that serve every industry are most marketable. Mm -hmm. However, my opinion is that if you want to be marketable, you have to have very many skills. You, you have to be multi-skilled. You have to be a person who shows integrity, ethical. You have to be a person who can communicate very well. And stop looking at a company from the perspective of you need a job from the company, but rather that if you get employed in that company, what shall you add? that company. Most people think that it's a favor they are getting when they're employed. Mm -hmm. Most people feel that it's a right to get employed. That's wrong. So to answer you more specifically about the gap, I think capability development in students at the university level, industry linkages both for the students but also for the lecturers. Lecturers must speak well with the industry because if lecturers do not go to the industry, how will they contribute to the students understanding the industry sector? So this is a very crucial area. Mm -hmm. And even though we speak about, especially in Strathmore, about our students doing four, 400 hours in industry before completing their course, it's fundamental that the lecturers themselves do learn a lot about the industry sector, the industry needs, and I repeat the first issue, it's not about your technical capability only. You have to have an all-round ability to communicate ethics, integrity, mm -hmm. ability to relate with people. And if you have even an extra professional capability, even better. Even better. Yes. Well, um, Pamina, so I'd like to know from you, where have job seekers gone wrong uh, in studying the market trends in Kenya today? I think... Uh, as uh, my colleague here has mentioned, there's an, an overemphasis uh, where students target courses mm -hmm. simply because of the uh, perceived monetary benefit. So you look, someone uh, gets into accounting where, and they don't have any interest at all. Or someone pursues a course and at the end of the day, you know, this is not something they have a passion or interest. So going back to the numbers we've seen where people have studied and they don't get jobs, it's also an issue of numbers because when you look at a course and this is where everyone, you know, is, is looking at, then what happens is uh, you have a lot of people targeting very few jobs. And at the end of the day, that is where you find the high unemployment rates. Right. My advice would be start as early as possible, maybe before even uh, uh, you completion of secondary school. Let people identify what is my talent. And from there, you start uh, shaping them. Great. And uh, Doctor, I'll let you have the final remarks in this case uh, as we churn out specific courses that people can be studying out there. 80% of the jobs are in the semi-skilled area, in the small and medium enterprises, mm -hmm. in the informal sector in Kenya, which means that we have a big gap of entrepreneurial capability in the market. So I'd like people to also think that it's not bad they fold their shirts and sleeves and start doing some entrepreneurial work to serve the very small and medium enterprises. Right. Self-employment, 
even in farming, you've seen how people have done very well because there are gaps in industry. To be employed demands that the industries are growing. Right. Yes. Okay, well, thank you so much, gentlemen. I do appreciate the time taken to come and enlighten us about uh, what we need to do if we are going to tailor uh, courses specific to job demand or the job market uh, at the end of it all. Thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Doreen. Thank you so much, Paminas. <coughs> and you. well, Job Center will return next Monday. Business news continues after this.